today's my daughter's graduation and I've already gone to it. And it was fantastic. She's beautiful. She had, a great, she had a great time. I mean, it's just graduation, basically getting your diploma, but she had a chance to get dressed up and put on a beautiful dress. And I anticipate this because, you know, of course, you know, you have to plan an event, so, and I'm, I wish I should have done my video with my clothes that I had on, because I don't usually get dressed up, but it was beautiful. So anyway, this morning when I got up, I usually get up early to post on my social media and just to kind of pray and to seek God in regards to what my day should look like. So today, one of my Facebook friends, um, she's from Do Indonesia, I found out today. And she posted a picture of herself, so I guess what she's, I'm not too sure what the time difference is, but she posted herself with a, in a picture out, outside and she's had a selfie, she looked fantastic. And so I put beautiful under her, her, um, her picture. And other people who were posting were from where she was from, so the, I couldn't understand a word they were saying. You can get the gist of like what they were saying. You got little hints, little words here and there that kind of exemplify being pretty or good morning or whatever. So I got a notification. You know, sometimes you're you're chilling, you're going through your social media, and a notification comes in, so think. You know, I started checking. You know, can you get excited about what people might be saying? Yeah. So I look at the comment under mine, and there's all these different languages. Blah, 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 Negro. I said pardon Negro what so I'm thinking what in what language would that word be positive even when people who are like urban and trying to be gangster and make a word positive that word still doesn't resonate well with me so I took the statement that was made and I googled it <laughs> I took the whole sentence and I googled it and I googled it a couple times because it came up as more Spanish than it did Indonesian and I know Spanish looks more more like Italian or French like the, the grammar is more so like Italian or French so something wasn't right there but anyway and the reason why I was looking under Indonesian translation is because the girl who I had on Facebook who had the friend who made the comment Negro had said sorry negro means black in indonesian so after so you don't know you know what one thing i don't take a lot of people from the, who are black overall doesn't matter the culture overall have a tendency the ones who are put out there in the media they have a tendency to respond right away i like, can be abrasive and be offended but i want to make sure that this was what it was what it seemed to be so after I googled it and got a couple keywords that came up, so I got the word white that came up. And so Negro and white are opposites. So to me, in my mind, I, I assumed right away that the statement was made about the fact that I'm black and that I'm her Facebook friend. So I responded and I said that you don't have to be able to speak the language to know when someone is ra being racist. And that it's unfortunate that she doesn't know me and that she is making a negative condescending statement based on just the fact that I'm black and so um, they had dialogue this is under her picture so this is my comment and then under my comment is always like about 10 statements back and forth about I don't know between the two of them what they were saying I didn't want to google anything else I didn't want to know what this lady was talking about but then the lady apologized and she says you know it's not me Basically, I'm a Christian, so I have friends of different backgrounds, and you know, I'm so sorry, sis. And sister, sister, or sis, or brother is a term that we use to kind of say, like, no matter what the color or where you're from, we're like family, and that's what I believe. So my response to her was, I'm sorry that she, her. Exp I understand, and I'm sorry that her, she feels that way about me based on the fact that I'm of color. And I understand where her perception comes from because the media must be where she's getting her notion about people of color from and it's unfortunate that people just use that as the resource to determine how they're going to categorize different people because the media has an agenda they're not going to put a well-respected articulate um, well-mannered woman or man of color for that matter and, and put, portray them on the media unless they have some kind of um, agenda 
Now, there are people of color who are articulate in positions of influence, who are um, well-educated and articulate, but those people are being portrayed as being the exception. And I'm begging to differ. That is, I'm generally finding, is more the rule. There are a lot of people that I know that are of color that are educated and um, gifted and uh, influential and entrepreneurial minded and great parents and are slow to anger. So this notion that she has is based on something that's be is based on something that's beyond what she's learned so far. So that was my response basically to her on Facebook. I didn't see anything after that. I basically was I said that I feel sorry for her that she will she will not have the opportunity to have certain friends based on her notion about their color. And um, I left it at that. So after today, after the end of um, that conversation, that dialogue, I got myself together and went to my daughter's graduation, which was about in the afternoon. And I took some great pictures. She looked fantastic. And I posted them on Facebook. And the, the lady that I have on Facebook, she liked them. And the reason why I'm sharing the story is because I think that as people who are true believers, we're called to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And he calls us to be loving beyond the commandments. He, the last thing he said was he should, we should love each other. Loving is the key. So when you have people who are saying that they're Christian and they're backbiting and they're um, slandering, gossiping, all that kind of stuff. And gossip to me isn't necessarily talking about someone. It's talking about someone to degrade or... Um, slander them so I can just have this conversation or I can share this information with you as long as I'm not trying to diminish someone's into the integrity of someone's character and I'm not trying to do that what I'm just basically trying to say is that it's unfortunate that people just use the media as their standard for how they view people when we have Twitter snapchat Facebook so you could get to know different people and understand and know that what you're seeing what you're knowing um, is based on your interaction with them as opposed to what the media is spewing. Now, unfortunately, you don't always know who you're really talking to on Facebook and Twitter, but if you're a true join in person, you're a Christian, and you're trying to exemplify not necessarily being black or what of color or creed or nationality, but basically portray the kingdom, you just do what you think is right. Now, I find myself finding it sometimes very difficult to make decisions about who I should be friend on Facebook, who I should continue dialogue with, because there's a rule for everything. Everything that you encounter and do, there is a rule in the Bible for it. So I've had different people try to add me on Facebook who are strictly about like like your over, overly sexualized conversations. Some people are athletic, some people are vegans, all that kind of stuff. Some people are just strictly like portraying Christianity and God calls to call calls us to love everyone but I don't have to have everyone as a Facebook friend I, I don't I, it doesn't mean I don't love you it just means that I know that what I watch and what I subject myself to or my spirit to impacts my soul so I don't have to necessarily add everyone so my challenge has been you know how do I continue to be loving and forgiving while making decisions that are best for me and my family anyway Everyone has a right to make a decision based on what they want to, but I really want to share this because I'm finding that there's a lot of people who just hate is because they just feel they, they have the right to hate or they, yeah, they feel they have a right to hate based on what they know or what they believe. And I, I could talk about so many different things. I could talk about people who are vegan. I could talk about people who are natural care people. I could talk about people who are... Um, passionate about abortion, passionate about gun control. There is so much hate based on people who feel that they're advocating for something while they're tearing down something else. I'm finding it very interesting that people, we all as a people, are not taking a moment to kind of reflect on ourselves. That's to see how, if I want to be different, the world to be different, how can I be the difference that I want to see? That's a very common, very common quote. That I think a, a, I oftentimes refer to. If I want to, if I want to be a, there to be a difference around me, the Bible clearly talks about being that difference, 
you being the light, you being, and then letting everything else fall into place. Mind you, I don't even know this lady was a Christian. All I know is that um, I was kind of like happy with myself that I didn't, because the day of my life I would have responded irately. I would have been, I had a tendency, whenever my kids were at school and something happened to them, I was down writing letters, like, oh, you know, I, I, would, I would not hesitate to write a really um, abrasive letter, letting pe people, people in check. And I find that what, even though people will say, okay, fine, I'm my bad, you find that when you do something like that, even though in your mind you may feel justified, that you're not going to, you're not going to get someone to be, to, you're not going to change people. You're going to make people more angry and add another example of how they want to hate people. Anyway, I found it very interesting. So today I had my first Negro experience. <laughs> I'm sure there have been other experiences that I don't know about, but that one was really interesting to me. Anyway. Um, yeah, enlightening and interesting. I definitely be sharing some more experiences on my opinion about veganism and um, the natural hair journey. Quite interesting. Anyway, be blessed. Have a great day. Until next time, take care.